This is question three from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told a square has sides of length 8.4 centimetres and we're asked to work out the length of a diagonal of the square. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. So the first thing to recognise is what is the diagonal of the square? Well that is simply the length from one corner to the other. Now what we should recognize here is that when we do that, when we draw that diagonal, we create a triangle. And this triangle is a right angle triangle. And then what we should recognize is that if we've got a right angle triangle, we should immediately, and we're being asked about the lengths on a right angle triangle, we should immediately be thinking about Pythagoras or trigonometry. Okay, we're told that a square has sides of length 8.4, so we've got our 8.4 labelled here. We can also label this as 8.4. So we've got two lengths, and we're trying to find the uh, uh, another length on this triangle. We're trying to find the hypotenuse, the longest side. We've got two lengths, we're trying to find another. What we should recognise is that this is Pythagoras. So we're going to use a technique for Pythagoras using four simple steps. Uh, the first is that we're going to square. Second is that we're going to square. Then we are either going to add or we are going to subtract. And then we are going to square root. So first of all, we are going to square one of our sides that we've got. So we're going to do 8.4 squared. Then we are going to square again. We're going to square the other side, which in this case is also 8.4. Then we're going to add or subtract. This is a bit where we need to make a decision. Are we going to add our answers to 8.4 squared and 8.4 squared together? Or are we going to take them away? Now, the way that we decide whether we're going to add or subtract, if it is the longest side, we are going to add. So if it is the hypotenuse, we will add. If it is one of the shorter sides we subtract. What we can see here is that we have got the hypotenuse, the side which is opposite where the right angle is, and so because of that we're going to add these together. And then we are going to square root. So working this out on our calculator, um, this is going to give us uh, 8.4 squared plus 8.4 squared, remember that we're adding them together. And then we're going to take that answer and we are going to square root it. So square root our answer. And that is going to give us 11.87939392. We're asked to give your answer correct to three significant figures. So our answer correct to three significant figures. Three significant figures are the first three numbers that mean anything. So in this case, we're talking about the 1 in the tens column, the 1 in the units column, and the 8 in the tenths column. So we are rounding to the nearest tenth, or we're rounding to the nearest one decimal place. So in order to do that, look at the number that comes after it. That is a 7. So because it is a 7, we are going to round that 8 up to a 9. So our final answer here is going to be 11 0.9 centimetres.